Welcome back to Jenna's Kitchen. I've been making a lot of comfort food lately, so I figured I'd continue that trend with making some chocolate pie. When you first think of chocolate pie, do you think of grandma's secret chocolate pie recipe that nobody knows? Well, I figured I'd share with y'all Hershey's recipe for chocolate pie because who knows chocolate better than Hershey's? But before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. So let's get started. We have a store-bought pie crust right here. We're just going to cut it open, get it out. If you want to use your homemade pie crust recipe, then you can. I just figure this would be easier. Find store-bought pie crust normally in your local supermarket next to the biscuits in the refrigerated section. Okay, you gotta be careful with this because it has been known to slightly tear. So you gotta be extra careful. Lay it down in your pie pan. Make sure everything's even. You could also get some of these pre-made pie crusts in the freezer section. That way they're all made up pretty like this. And if you're taking it to like a big old gathering or celebration or anything, you don't have to worry about get your pan back. We're gonna take some of the pie crust, pinch it in to give it like a little fluted look and make it look all fancy. This next part is pretty fun. You gotta take a fork and poke holes in the bottom of your pie crust. That way when you bake it, it will not just like poof up and then you have a big old mess. Cause when you fill your pie, it's gonna overfill, which will be no good. All right, now that we have all of our holes poked, we are going to bake this in a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes. While our pie crust is baking, we're gonna go ahead and make the filling. So I have a strainer. We're gonna put it on our pan. Take one and one fourth cup of sugar. Half cup of cocoa powder. One third a cup of cornstarch. All right, so the sugar is gonna add some sweetness, the cocoa powder is gonna give it that chocolatey goodness, and the cornstarch will thicken it up. All right, we have one fourth a teaspoon of salt. We got it on low to medium heat. We're gonna add three cups of milk and whisk while we do it. Once you have all of your milk combined in there, you're gonna bring it to a boil, let it boil for one minute. The way you'll know if it is boiled correctly is it'll get super thick in like three seconds. So you just gotta keep an eye on it, keep whisking until you get to that point. All right, once your mixture has boiled, you're gonna take three tablespoons of butter and this is gonna add some buttery goodness. Whisk this until the butter gets melted. We have our cream filling all done. You know it's done when it starts to like bubble up and kind of explode like little mud pits in Yellowstone and it kind of does look like one. So in the oven, our pie crust kind of fell, but it's okay. We have our cream filling ready to go. So we're just gonna pour it in and everything will be all right. A spatula, take our cream filling and pour it into our pie pan. Alright, so your pie might not be the prettiest, but it sure will taste good once you refrigerate it for six to eight hours with some saran wrap on the top. Now you want to put some of this on the top. Make sure you put this saran wrap on the top of it because if you don't and you refrigerate it, then your chocolate on the top is going to get hard and rubbery and it's not going to taste good. So make sure you put the saran wrap on. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to play with your food. Here's the pie. It has come out of the refrigerator. It's been in there for six to eight hours and ta-da! It looks great. It smells great. And I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. In the comments down below, tell me your favorite kind of pie. This is definitely up in my top five. It's creamy, it's delicious, and it's got some chocolatey goodness. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen, and if you share this, share it on Facebook or Instagram. Be sure to tag Jenna's Kitchen 16 because I'd love to see how y'all's Hershey pie turned out. All right, see you guys next time.